what's up everyone RJ here with hacking university and today I'm going to show you how you can convert dot web P images into understandable common image extensions like dot PNG or dot JPG so actually if you do not know about it, this new extension it's being used uh, by Google on its Google Play Store so if you just navigate to the play.google.com and you open up any app you can see these images you know we can navigate through these images and they look common but as soon as you right click a save image let's save this on desktop actually you can see it's dot web p extension so it's not understand uh, actually it's not understandable by the default image view uh, which is provided by uh, Microsoft so you're not able to actually you know view this image so what we are going to do we have actually two ways to view this image you know one is to convert this image using a very nice tool called XN convert so I have actually downloaded this tool so you can uh, find this tool on this website actually you can go to the link in the description and there's a whole lot of uh, text tutorial plus with the download link of this tool so after you download this image sorry uh, this tool then uh, you, you need to install this tool and you will find something like this so you open this tool and this is how the tool looks like so what do you need to do you need to convert the webp image into uh, png jpg or you know actually this tool uh, has many more extensions so there's a wide variety of extensions you can choose from so what do you need to do you need to click and drag this image and you can see the previews right over here so this tool is uh, detecting the webp extension so now we need to convert this into the png so we need to come to this output tab then under the formats we have plenty of formats you know we can choose from so let's choose the you know obviously uh, the png is the most common one you can use png you can even choose the jpg so let's choose png and uh, for the output we need the source folder so actually source folder means where the webp image is saved the new converted image will be saved right away so now the source folder right then the png now you need to click on convert and you can see your image if this image is converted into the png and double click and you can see the image is actually converted so actually uh, you can even uh, bulk select your images you can drag them and you can output and you can convert bulk images so actually this is the one way you know but it includes you to download the software and install but if you're not a frequent um, you know downloader of Google Play images and you do not use these images frequently then there is one more easy way which I use actually it's like this is the image so we have the sniping tool right away so you can go to search and type down sniping tool you know you click on it and your tool opens up like this then you just need to select your image from here to here like this you know actually it's the most easy way you choose it then you save it onto your desktop it's automatically PNG you can name it Let's give it assistant. Oops, I think so. I guess my spelling is right. Yeah, then you hit save and you know it's again saved. But actually, you do not get the full size over here. The actual size is a lot bigger. So the best is to use this tool. You know, it will provide you the proper size. But if you're not planning, for a long term downloading and uploading of uh, these Google Play images then sniping tool will work pretty fine so hope this tutorial helped you in uh, you know actually downloading the images from Google Play or even converting them into a recognizable format like PNG or JPG so we'll meet you in my next video do visit my blog do subscribe do comment and do like this video peace